good morning, Mr. Vice President. I was wondering, how do you feel about the idea that uh, government subsidies and interference with the free market, for example, by artificially increasing the availab uh, availability of student loans is at least partially responsible for rising tuition costs? And that, now we're facing a possible student loan bubble and subsequent collapse just as we're coming out of the uh, housing crisis? Well, uh, say the first part of your question again, how we artificially created what? Uh, just by manipulating uh, variables in the free market and giving out government subsidies yeah. that maybe that's partially responsible for rising tuition costs? By the way, government subsidies have impacted upon rising tuition costs, and it's a conundrum here. But if we went the Ray, your, your view of the free market route, what we would have done is we would not have done that we would not have increased Pell Grants, for example, and there'd be nine million fewer students in college uh, today. Um, and there would be hundreds of thousands and millions of students who would not be in college who don't get Pell Grants because there was no ability for them to borrow money through Perkins loans and or have the tax deduction. So you are right, in a pure, pure free market, the college tuitions would have to have been lower because there'd be fewer people going to school. They wouldn't have as much coming in. But the end result is we'd probably have, uh, we'd go for the better part half of a generation of going from 16th in the world, maybe down to 20th in the world. And so if we can go out and take in a free market, if we can make sure that the Bank of America is able to survive for all the mistakes they made, if we can go out there and make sure that an awful lot of folks are, uh, for example, er everything is a matter of.